So continuing from yesterday. All right, so we learn about cassette player, right? Yeah. We learn about the amplifier a little bit. Yeah. Now you guys ask me a question about how, you know, how sound works or how speaker works, how the sound comes out. All right, so we're gonna, we have uh, our old speaker that we're not using. So today we're gonna just kind of explore a little bit more and see what's inside and how it works and all that. All right, so first of all, let's see this one, right? From yesterday, this is the cassette player is connected to amplifier through input, all right? So when we play a song, anything that on here, it will play. Probably it's not that great, but it still works, right? All right, so now, what we're gonna see is how the speaker works. So one way we can see it's right behind here in the amplifier, it's open amplifier. So we can see in the back, you see? Yeah. See, there's a there's a speaker. This yeah. is the speaker, yeah. right? There's a connection that goes from here. There's two into the amplifier here. Yeah. And this is the power supply for that. Yeah. Okay. All right, let me show you now that we have this and we open up a little bit. So let me open that up. All right, and I actually took the connection out, so but um, but it was connected right here in the circuit. Um, so this is a small, more like an amplifier, very small one. And here's the speaker. Okay. okay. Usually in the speaker box, there is circuit, there's a speaker, and there is something like this where it actually can um, the sound can travel. Uh, outside, right? It gives you more like a boost, like a boom, boom, you know, uh, noise. All right, so let's like look at. Yeah, it's like a bass, you know, it gives you a nice bass. Does right. the stuff you put in there, like if you something goes through, does it go, it's coming here? Yeah. So you gotta be careful. You don't wanna put in anything inside, right? See right there? That's why it's really important. Yeah, you keep it clear. All right, so now. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take the speaker out and let's experiment. All right. You wanna help me? All right, hold that. All right. There you go. I'm gonna put it right on top of that. So see this? This is speaker. Yeah. It's a, it, this is the top of the speaker. It's more like a, it's called diaphragm, I believe. Uh, it, it's a moving part. It moves, right? When you push it, it moves back and forth. And that's how you get the sound. The sound. Right? Bass. Bass and all, everything, like all different kinds of sounds comes from here. All right. Um, now, let's look in the back. What's in here? The wires, the wires, and this rainbow thingy. That's okay. Green. So, guess, let's guess. What's, what's that? What, this? Yeah. The back of the speaker? Yeah. What, what's that? I don't know what it's called. The sound goes through this thing. Nope. Let's thing? first understand how speaker works. Okay. Wait, so I think I know where the sound goes. It's where it comes out of from yeah. here. From here. Yeah. But why does it move? Why? How? How electrical signal converts into a sound? So in under in order to understand that, we need to know what's in <coughs> in here first. So this is magnet. See this whole thing. Oh. Let, let's try this. Look like right. Your screwdriver. Look, it's sticking right. Right, it's sticking here as well. Here it doesn't stick here. It doesn't not, stick here. It that's, only that's sticks here. Plastic. Yep. So th th this is like metal part, but then there's a magnet all around. Okay. What? Now, so in between magnet, yeah. there is something called a coil. Coil that's a really really tiny, um, like a cable that's wrapped around so many times. So that's right in a bit in between. You can't see right now, but if we take this part out, which we'll do later on, I don't wanna break it right now. Let's test it first. But I'll show you what's inside afterward, okay? okay. So right in between, there's that cable, really um, thin, yeah, thin cable that's wrapped around, but it's not really touching the magnet. It's free from the magnet, but the signal comes from this cable, goes into that coil, yeah. and when signal comes, that coil moves up and down around magnet. 
And when it does that, this hog thing vibrates as well, goes up and down. And that's how you get your sound. There's a little bit more to that. I don't want to go into all details. Uh, that's some other time, right? I'll probably have to so, you know, draw a circuit and all that. All right. All right. So I just opened up all the screws, uh, just in the interest of time, just because I want to take it out and I, I want to show you a little bit more. Okay. All right. So this is the speaker, actual speaker, right? Um, the bigger the speaker, um, the more, more bass and more, you know, I sound mean, edits. better sound, right? Uh, not better, but yeah, it's a louder, you know, basically. Um, so here's the two cables. One thing we're gonna try, um, just to show you how sound works. Let me do this. Okay. Let's take this, right? It's playing. Oh, okay. Let's take this out. Okay. Do you want to hold this? I'll hold it. Okay. <coughs> now, okay. what we're going to try to do, do you want to hold the camera? Okay. All right. Okay. So we, what we're going to try to do is, let's put one cable here and one here. Do you hear it? Yeah. Okay. There it's moving. See? It's moving. It's moving. Okay. It's vibrating actually. Yeah, it vibrates. Alright, move your hand. It didn't bounce. It. It's hard to see, but let me keep it steady. Look. Oh, I can see for the camera. Right? It's vibrating. Really small vibration, but that's, that's good enough to create a sound. Again, so I was able to do this, right? I was able to touch the cable. You know why? Why? You don't want to do this. Don't ever Never. do that by yourself. Don't you know, that one reason I was able to do it because I have nothing else connected. Like it's only the cassette player and cassette player only has like two uh, double A batteries. So there is not enough power to shock me, you know? But if I try to do that with a live like, you know, cable, like bigger one, like I'll get in trouble, yeah, big time, <laughs> big time. All right, all right. But so, in under, in order to understand a little bit more what's inside, we gotta actually open it up. Okay, ready? Ready. We're not supposed to do this, okay? If it, I mean, Don't do doing, this without a professional at all. <laughs> yeah, I'm not professional, but I'm doing it. I'm teaching you, but I'm doing it only because it's all that I was gonna throw it out anyway. So why not experiment, you know? Okay. All right. So gonna open this up. Wait. See this part. It's Ooh. really hard. Uh, really hard to open. Okay. Because they actually put a glue in in there. Oof. Oof. Dude. All right. You know what? I'm gonna just break this away. Do I find the needle? All right. You see? There you go. I was saying something before that there's a like small coil can't okay. even see the string right so see the middle part that's magnet keep keep a little bit up oh so that's the magnet that was on the other side yeah oh. I'll, I'll show you i'm see the this too yeah. that actually those cables right here you know see uh this string yeah. it actually goes underneath there's like small hole it comes inside and then is the whole it's uh, wrapped around this um uh, piece of um, paper I was just all right gonna now that. we're gonna try again wait is it really paper yeah all right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna connect again just to see how it works right you saw the vibration before now you'll probably see a little bit more vibration <laughs> we switch from cassette player to this phone just to see it how it works okay yeah. all right so 
there you go let me i connected everything the way we had it and there you go i'm playing your song i put the same um cable all right trying to hold it while i'm raising volume all right so let's stop that all right so you saw it was vibrating all right and now we and need to go a little bit underneath of the speaker what's inside you ready ready all right i'm gonna actually crack open this this is the part it's very flexible see this it's very very yeah. flexible that's this is like really hard yeah. this is flexible yeah. and this is the border so the border and this hard part is connected with this flexible part yeah. all right yeah. you'll see when i break this all right i'm gonna break it all right i don't Pretty have hard. a knife but this is okay. all right see now we're gonna go a little bit underneath to see what's uh what else is inside you see this yeah, yeah. all right is now, that the paper that was with yep. this yep now what we're gonna do is we took this part out now you'll see like sound quality is gonna start changing if i play the song again now it's not gonna be that good uh you want to try yeah. all right let's give it a try one more time won't be that good. All right. Let's do. <coughs> Let's see. Not bad. Now you're going to start losing bass. Okay, as, as we start off. See, some um, stuff okay. was falling right. into the... Um, I'm going to start breaking and, uh, this. Actually, once we break this, it's probably we're not going to get any any sound any sound because we are getting straight to the coil now doesn't the coil play music i'll show you exactly what happens but we gotta take in keep these two cables intact if we lose that it will not work okay, okay. Gonna draw. all right let's pause it for a second coil. there's a pepper and round pepper it's hard to see once we open more you'll, you'll see more um but this part and um, the way it's holding like in between is because of this. So we're gonna break that now. Okay, all done. So we took that out and you can see this in, this in magnet. It's pulling really hard, see? All right, now we all we left with two cable and a coil and a magnet, nothing else. We took everything else out, all right. Now you want to play a song again and let's see what happens. All right, yes. hold on the video. So we open up the whole thing and now we're going to play a song again to let's see how it's going to work. Oh, it's not even working anymore. Is it even playing? Yeah, it's playing. You hear it? I can hear it. It's really hard to hear it. Yeah, it's... I'm going to pull this. We can only hear it from closely, but now we can hear it. Listen, listen, listen. You know why? Yeah. No, let me pull this up. Wait. See, it has to be right in the middle. Because we don't have support anymore from the sides and you know and the bottom. Yeah. So it's not really it's not able to go up and down like you know, it's not able to vibrate easily. But okay. so you can still hear it. Mm. You hear it? All right, now, if, you had, if I take it out, volume is gone. There's nothing. So basically, I'm holding this two cable with this plug and it's going straight to this coil or the cable, right? But there's no magnet, so it can't really function anymore. If I put it back, see, there's a magnetic. It has to be in the right place, right? Exact right place, otherwise it wouldn't work. See this, it's a magnet, 
it's a solid magnet and it has a gap in between if you don't have that properly done it won't work so there you go now let's see this you see it just two cables are connected it, it's it's continuous cable it's not breaking anywhere it starts from this this end it goes all around so many times uh, there's a specific number um, of round it goes and then it comes at the other end but it's a continuous cable so a signal go, goes from one side comes from other side and that's how it creates the whole vibration and that's how you, the whole thing works now since we're done we can actually now you know since we broke the whole thing we can actually take this magnet out and we can we can use for something else yeah okay all right so so far what did you what did you learn we learned about the um karaoke over here there's no karaoke there's an amplifier I mean, oh the custard player okay yeah. you learn about custard player how amplifier works a little bit not much you know yeah. still we will learn a little later, little later we learn about speaker how it's connected what's inside how it makes sound uh how it vibrates right yeah. and uh, how many different components it has it's mainly there are two right it's a magnet <clears throat> and that uh, cable and then everything else that supports that and yep there you go That's pretty cool.